In this brief time here, what I want to use it to do is, is to say this. Um, when I was 16 years old, I tried to kill myself. Hey yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make this in Cinema 4D. It's quite easy and quite simple, like, I mean, very simple. Uh, yeah, so before I start this, make sure you guys check out the description if you want to support me on Patreon, go ahead and do that. Also, if the scene file is, is also in the description, and make sure you join my Discord, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so open up Cinema 4D, and the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make a plane. And then we have these options down here, and let's make our width and height to 2100 by 2100. If I'm going too fast for you, you should uh, watch my last tutorials like number one, two, three, all those because I go over all the basics and all the other good stuff. So yeah, that will jump you right up to date with how I'm going to do this. All right, so when that, once that is done, let's go ahead and add some segments to our uh, plane. The reason why we're doing this and not making a, uh, a landscape is because we're going to make our own hills and we're going to just do all that stuff, okay? So as you can see, hold on. If I go into my display and go to Godard Shading with Lines, we have these polygons right here. And it's not a lot, so if I was, it would be a bad idea or a bad thing to do, or <laughs> it'll be bad to try to make this into a hilly landscape because there's barely anything to work with. So what we need to do is we need to add more geometry, more uh, polygons. So select your plane and look at the segments and we're going to make it 200. Oops. 200 by 200 all right and now we have a lot more polygons to work with to make our planes all right and now what we want to do is we want to press C to make that editable now in like the last or the first uh, cinema 4d basics I showed you guys what all this stuff was so we want to go into polygon mode and we're going to edit our polygons let's right click let's look for brush now in our brush if I was to just go ahead and draw it looks so bad so to fix this let's go ahead and check surface and let's make this fall off to linear let's make the mode to surface and if I do it again it's better but as you can see it's still kind of spiky so let's control Z to go back let's make the strength to like 30% and then let's also make the width I mean the radius to like 400 or 300 so yeah I'm going with 500 and that should be good for me and then what you want to do is just draw just draw the hills and stuff and find whatever fits Also, you don't want your hills to be that large because it will kind of ruin the grass and the linear of it, the linearability. That's not even a word, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Just make sure everything is kind of leveled. That's too much right there. If you want to like go down some, just make sure your strength has a negative value. So 30%, negative 30%. And I'm going back to 30%. And I'm going to keep on drawing. Nope, that's good for me. Once that is done, you can go ahead back into your object mode and let's select our move tool. And let's also uncheck, or let's go to Godard shading to get rid of that, the lines. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set up our camera. So find anywhere on the map or whatever. And this is a good spot for me. And go to create and choose camera. 
Now, if you want to make sure this uh, camera is locked in position, you already know what to do. Right click on it, Cinema 4D tags and protection. But I don't need that right now because this is not going to be my final spot. So yeah, anyway. Now let's actually make the grass. So in the last tutorial, I told you to go to create environment and choose grow grass. But in this time, we're going to use a different method. In this method, we have more freedom, but I'm not going to go into all the options though. So go to simulate and look for hair objects and add hair. And as you can see, we have all these guides. So let's go into our camera mode and go into our hair and go to our options. Let's look for guides. And let's lower the height or the length. And what that does, that controls how uh, tall the hairs are. And that's fine for me. Also, go to dynamics and make sure it's enabled. <clears throat> so now we want to do is we want to press play for like that is like one second or two seconds and that should be good the next thing we want to do is we want to add more hair so to do this if we go click on hairs we have this count right here i'm going to make it 500 no i'm not <laughs> that's too much for me at the moment uh 100 000 is good for me i suggest you do like 30 000 because it's the render time is going to be pretty high for you depending on how good your pc is so yeah i'm going with 100k and now let's also set up our render settings and our lighting. So go into your settings, go to standard, let's choose physical. And you always want physical for hair, like no cap, you always want physical hair. And let's also check global illumination. And you can use a physical sky, but I'm going to use an HDR. So in your GI preset, let's make it a exterior HDR image. Now we want to do is we want to go to create, look for environment and choose sky. Go ahead and make a new material and go ahead and drop your HDR into it. So let me find mine. Uh, yep, this is good for me. And then drag that onto the sky. And I'm going to lower my camera some. That's fine for me. Now what you want to do is you want to set up some extra lights. You always want this because just one HDR will look bad in like an actual scene, so yeah. So go to the lights up here and choose area. Go to your shadow maps, make sure your shadow maps soft, I mean area, and make sure your details are set to inverse square physically accurate and make sure it's Z direction only. Let's go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees and put it all the way to the side. We're only gonna use one for right now, so yeah. Also, are we gonna use two now, yeah. <laughs> Let's make this like wide as the plane and make it a bit extra high. Let's increase our fall off. Make it higher and rotate it down some. All right, go back into your camera mode and select your light and make sure you go to general make sure the color is like kind of orange just very little bit very subtle so yeah that's good right there now we need to make a little material for our uh plane we're not going to make like an actual ground dirt that's going to be saved for a different tutorial but i'm going to just do something real quick so just make it like brown and then drag it onto your plane all right and then Let's go ahead and give it a test render. All right, and as you can see, this is our grass, which looks pretty bad. <laughs> so just what we need to do is we need to edit our grass settings. And to do this, we have this material right here. So just uh, open it up and make sure your colors are green. And in your specular, you can make it quite high in strength and increase or lower the sharpness, but it's really like a lot of test renders that you have to do to really get a good one when you're done setting up everything else. So yeah. Also, let's check uh, let's check scale. No, let's check frizz and kink. I'm gonna open up this and show you what it does. So kink, I mean frizz, is just this. Without frizz, with frizz, huge difference. Grass is never like it's never like that. <laughs> so you always want frizz. 
and make sure your kink is on and make sure it's like kind of low. Put about 10%. All right. You want density? Nope. You want a uh, bump? Yep. You want that too. And last thing you want is wave. And that should be fine right there. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Curl. I mean, you can play around with all these settings and get different types of results. So if you want to experiment with them, go ahead and do you. But yeah. You can check on Ben, but I think we're all good, really. So yeah, that's good for me. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my hairs and go to the, uh, what? Go to the, oh yeah, the hairs. <laughs> and I'm going to make my account to 500,000. Because as you can see in the last test runner, that was way too little grass. Grass is like really compact together. It's never that much spread out. But yeah, so I'm gonna just give it a test runner and see what it's going on. Also, never do this much grass. To get around this, what you should just do is uh, make a smaller plane. And <clears throat> like the smaller the plane, the less grass that's gonna be simulated. Because I'll tell you why every single I'll tell you why it's like very hard to calculate. So if I go into one little guide here, think of it as like as like one polygon. This is a polygon, this is a polygon, this, this, this. And, and see over here we have these segments. That's how many polygons we have. So if we have no actually it's slow. So we have eight segments or you can say eight polygons I think I'm wrong but you get the point so you have to multiply eight for all of these when it's finally time to render that's why it takes so long to calculate that's eight polygons times however much your grass is so eight polygons times 500,000 that's how much it's going to render that's how much geometry is in your scene so yeah you get my point you get why it's like that and I'm just going to do this final render, and that should really be it. That's, like I said, quite simple, but yeah. All right, so as you can see, this is my result that I have. Also, I bumped up my hairs to 700,000, and I also lowered the specularity, so that's why it may look a little bit different, and I changed my camera angle. And that's pretty much how you make this type of grass. Now, I pretty much end this grass series. Uh, what's the next one I'm going to do? I don't know yet, but I'll probably release a video tomorrow and you will know then. But yeah, remember guys, thanks for watching the tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe for more and join the Discord below and make sure you, you donate to Patreon if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Some